Good afternoon, friends. This is Sergey Kromchenko, and now we're somewhere in Latin America, living that nomadic life everyone talks about, but not everyone lives. Anyways, any QA engineer should be able to afford it. So today's topic is going to be: Can you find a job as the QA slash QA automation engineer in 2021? Let's go. So within this topic, we have two questions that we are going to take apart. First question is, why do people think it is difficult to find a job? What is causing them to think so? And the second one, what can you do about it and how can you find a job as fast as possible? Stick with me until the end of the video and I'll explain you exactly what can you do about it. But for now, please give me a big fat thumb up if you do like this guy, if you do want me to rank up in a YouTube algorithms in the YouTube. Why do exactly people think it is hard to find a job at a market? Well, it actually depends because it might be hard to find it for someone and it might be not for somebody else. The question is, what is the difference between a person who it is easy to find a job and who it is not easy to find a job? So it depends of quite a few factors. Let's start with the first and most important one, likability. How likable are you? How good is your personality? How good will you match the culture of this company or that company? It depends. How good is your skill set? Number two. How good did you educate yourself or how, how much did you learn from the school, from a bootcamp, from YouTube, or any other courses out there? That's number two. Number three. How good is your English? So a lot of people who are into QA or into software engineering are immigrants and some of them don't speak English very well. But your English will also correlate with your skill level because if you can speak JavaScript better than English, as some of people did, I'll add a link right here. And if your JavaScript is better than your English, then actually it is heavier and people will like it and will need it much better. But some jobs will need that, some jobs will not. Some jobs will not even require a JavaScript uh, programming language, but only good English so they could communicate with you easily and you could do some basic tax, uh, tasks done. So a lot of things depend on that one as well. as well. So let's sum it up. We have likability, cultural fit. We have technical skills. And third one, English. So those three are the most important ones, but there is one more that I would like to talk about as well. That one is luck. Yeah, you heard it right, luck, exactly. It's not only about a skill level, etc., etc. It also depends on luck because company might be looking for an employee immediately. They need it so badly. Someone got fired or someone went to work for another company or someone, who knows, maybe passed away, whatever and they need someone to replace that employee immediately because there is a contract, multi-million dollar contract, and it's on fire. So they will hire one, someone with basic skills and basic English and, big, and good, okay, cultural fit, and they will hire the person as soon as possible because they need someone immediately. So it also depends on that. All together, we have quite a few factors that it depends on, but what you guys do need to know that you and only you is the person who is responsible for finding a job and responsible for that luck because you will not be lucky if you will not apply for a job. For example, Veronica, I'll send it, I'll add a link right here. She applied about 600, she, she applied for about 600 positions. She sent about 600 resumes before she got a job. Do you call it luck? I don't. I call it hard work. Maybe in some case luck, but that's purely hard work. Let's move on. Second part, what, or second question we wanted to discuss, what can you do to find a job? How can you get it as fast as possible? So the thing number one that I would recommend you, get a good looking profile on a LinkedIn. The rest of the market not necessarily doesn't necessarily matter in my opinion. LinkedIn is the best place to find a job because if you have a good looking profile, if you have all of the keywords out there, 
um, then recruiters will be looking for you as the market is hot as hell. It is hot as it never has been before. People will be looking for you. You will not have to apply for a job. You will simply have to respond to them. That's, that's why LinkedIn is a really good place to start. Second one, never underestimate yourself because a lot of companies are looking for just some cheap, uh, cheap employees. They will pay you 35 bucks an hour. They'll pay you up 40 bucks an hour and they, uh, but you can find same job with the same responsibilities, which will pay you hundred plus thousand dollars. So it's up to you if you want to grab whatever you have first, because a lot of people say that's not enough. So it will be just the leftovers for you or for somebody else who is okay with 35 bucks an hour. You can grab that job, get some experience and then get a hundred plus K job. Or you can simply say, you know what? You got to chill, bro. I'm looking for hundred plus because now I'm making 90. For example, uh, third one, practice, 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 practice. If you guys are out of the boot camp and you're looking for a job, don't forget that you have to practice if you're a QA automation engineer, creating frameworks from scratch, because that's one of the biggest points why they want to hire you. They want you to write automation. They want to see that you will be able to start and uh, start automating new projects from zero, from the ground up all the way up to the sky rise. And the last and the most important point, you need to have friends or uh, just their relatives who are on the market so they could give you advices in case you have came out from the boot camp that didn't give you enough skills or didn't guide you in the right way. Also, if you want to join a free community, we are going to add the link right here. It's a telegram community. And if you were not able to find a job yet and you don't know why, just hit me up there, leave a comment under our any of our posts. I will take a look and I'll respond to you as soon as possible. I'll try to help you out. And also our new group starting on December 6th and we have a, another format and we have restructured our entire course so you could get more material and you would be better prepared for an interview which we will also prepare you for. Awesome! Thank you guys for joining. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a big fat thumb up and please Live a life you want to live. Don't work. Don't do the job you don't want to do. Don't love the person you don't want to love. Just enjoy your life the way everyone should.